Hi, darling. How are you? Hi. Wow. What did I do? Your ridiculous testimonial on the internet for Patrick. Ring a bell? Ring a bell. I know. I did not think that that was a very good idea either. However, your boyfriend is extremely persuasive. And I meant everything that I said. However, you know, I'm not convinced that the internet is really the appropriate venue for any kind of relationship issues. I'm not convinced. It is an invasion of privacy. I hate to remind you, but you're the one that started this whole cyber war with your blog. I don't think that Patrick could have come up with this on his own. Mm -mm. Well, thank you very much for pointing that out. That's what mothers are for, and you will find out soon enough. Hey, I've got some new testimonials for you to look at. Coleman is actually surprisingly touching. Coleman? Well, yeah, right. Okay. Uh, okay. <clears throat> hey, Rob. Well, uh, Patrick here asked me to put in a good word, so uh, here it goes. Um, you know what I've come to learn about my buddy Patrick here is that Underneath, you know, the uh, self-important, self-entitled exterior is really just a self-important, self-entitled interior. <laughs> just kidding, man. <laughs> just joking. Okay. Uh, oh, I mean, Patrick, he may be, you know, he's a big, important doctor, right? But Robin, he's, um, he's also just a regular guy, you know, that, that wants the same things that, that most guys want, you know? I mean, he wants health wealth and a little woman to come home to a little woman Shh, just listen um come on do that i mean who are you trying to fool i mean you know you love the guy right i mean what's not to love i mean um uh, i mean you, you you don't possibly believe you can do any better i mean the guy's a brain surgeon for god's sake he's handsome uh he's got bucks and he's he's totally in love with you you know, instead of stringing him along, you should you should consider yourself lucky. You know, um, adopt an attitude of gratitude. <laughs> you know, check it out. It's like this. It's like close the eyes, pucker the lips, start making up with a big sloppy kiss. I just made that up on the spot for you. That's for you. <laughs> but I'm out of here. This is C Diddy of Port Charles. Peace. <laughs> Oh. Oh, wow. Oh, so good. Uh, you thought that was touching? <laughs> well, if you consider the source, it is. And I've got Mac and Maxie all lined up ready to go. Yeah, right. My Uncle Mac would never. Hmm. Mac already agreed. Even he thinks you're being stubborn. Now, that's just mean. Maybe. But whatever works.